pool is a quaint coastal tourist resort town in Dorset, England.
situated just adjacent to the Pool Museum, Scalpins Court is a 15th century grade 1 listed house. important sculpture that has stood in the key near Pool Museum since 1991. Created by Anthony Caro, one of Britain's greatest sculptors, it is the only site-specific public sculpture by the artist in the UK. together the cascading waves and the sails of the boats in the harbour and echoes the sound of the sea. Bascule Bridge constructed in 1927. It is situated on the western end of the Pool Quay and spans across the narrow channel between Pool Harbour and Holes Bay.
this cruise which took me on a 2 hour round trip from Pool Harbour to Swanage to see some of Dorset's greatest landmarks. Starting from the pool harbour, the journey goes through Brown Sea Island, Sandbanks and the Old Harry Rocks and finally towards the historical British seaside resort of Swanage. Pool Harbour is the largest natural harbour in the world. It is a drowned valley formed at the end of the last ice age and is the estuary of several rivers, the largest being the Froome. Sea Island, also archaically known as Brank Sea, is the largest of the islands in the Pool Harbour. The island is owned by the National Trust, with the northern half managed by the Dorset Wildlife Trust. plays a vital role in providing a safe haven for overwintering birds including avocets, black-tailed godwits and large number of wildfowl. Also one of the only few places in UK where you can find red squirrels. Around 200 red squirrels live on the island, a safe haven away from their rival the grey one.
who outcompetes them with food and carries the squirrel fox fatal to the red Brownsea Castle is a majestic fortress of Tudor design. It was originally a device fort constructed by Henry VIII between 1545 and 1547 to protect Poole Harbour from the threat of French attack. castle remained in use after the original invasion scare had passed and was occupied by the parliament during the english civil war in 1640s Sandbanks is a small peninsula or spit crossing the mouth of the Poole Harbour on the English Channel coast. its high property prices and for its award winning beach in 2005 sandbanks was reported to have the fourth highest land value by area in the world Sandbanks ferry that operates across the entrance of the pool harbor between the Haven Point in Sandbanks and Shell Bay in Sturdland.
located on the Isle of Purbeck, Old Harry Rocks are three chalk formations including a stack and a stump. They mark the most eastern point on the Jurassic Coast, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Thousands of years ago, Old Harry and the Needles on the Isle of Wight were linked by a line of chalk hills that eroded away during the last ice age. Formations are popularly known as Old Harry Rocks. The name Old Harry actually refers to the single stack of chalk standing furthest out to sea. Until 1896, there was another stack known as Old Harry's Wife, but erosion caused her to tumble into the sea, leaving just a stump. theories about where Old Harry got its name from. It is reputedly named after either a famous local pirate or the devil. The top of the cliff nearby is known as Old Nick's Ground, which is another name for the devil. Calcium deposit from the sea creatures dying and falling into the seabed slowly built up over millions of years to create the chalk reefs and plate tectonics brought the chalk up above the sea level before the last ice age.
Islands is a coastal town at the eastern end of the Isle of Purbeck. Up to the early 19th century, Swanage was a small fishing port. However, after the arrival of the railway, it developed as a seaside resort and it retains much of its Victorian character to this day. Castle is a Victorian castle that stands within the Dulston Country Park, which stretches along the coastline south of Swanage. Stunning views, walking trails, historic great globe, superb geology, fascinating wildlife and the castle, there is always something different to see and do in Durston Country Park.